Stay tuned for a physical media review with your host, Grim Grindle. Hello, I'm Grim Grindle, and welcome to a physical media review, which on the surface is me reviewing physical media, but in truth is actually just an excuse for me to complain about something that's been annoying me for, oh, I believe it's about 13 years now. The subject in question is the VHS power release of Star Wars Episode 2 Attack of the Clones for Australia. If the copyright date is anything to go by, which it often is not, this was released in 2002, which I believe is around the ballpark. This is not a review of Star Wars Episode 2, but simply a review of the VHS release itself. So I won't be talking about whether I think the prequels were brilliant or terrible, but if you want that, I might address it in a later video. There was also a DVD version released around about this time, but this is the VHS version. So obviously it's going to have a lower picture quality, which I won't bother complaining about too much, because that was the nature of VHSs, and DVDs were only really starting to become popular at that point, and really if I take off my glasses and sit back, I don't really notice the difference too heavily anyway. Besides, complaining that a VHS doesn't level up to a DVD is pretty much the same as complaining that a Game Boy lacks the 3D features of my 3DS. It was one of the last hurrahs of an outdated piece of technology that was just at that point hanging on by a thread. And besides, the VHS does have a few features that the DVD lacks. For instance, there are no unskippable menus and you can just fast forward straight through the copyright warnings. Hurrah! In credit to the VHS release, this video has bonus features which to a modern DVD going audience might not sound like much at all. But to those of us who were raised on the video, we weren't used to entire discs of extra features involving makings of and behind the scenes technical jargon and entire director's commentaries and what have you, so getting a little bit of extra was a nice little bit of extra. So what are these bonus features I hear you all clamoring to ask? Well the first one is about 10 minutes of deleted scenes, which is just fantastic and I absolutely loved watching them. While I agree most of them shouldn't have made it in the film, it was interesting to see what got cut. The second one, however, is precisely the reason I'm here to complain, and that is the exclusive Star Wars Connections featurette. This featurette features R2-D2 and C-3PO explaining to you exactly how the entire Star Wars movie franchise ties together. You know, just in case you're not quite sure how numbers work or something. This short piece of bonus material systematically contains every single spoiler you could possibly ever utter in the entire Star Wars franchise. Not even kidding, let's have a quick look at the ones they cover. Spoiler alert if you for some reason are watching this video and haven't seen Star Wars. The fall of the Old Republic and the rise of the evil Empire. He fell deeply in love with Padme. Anakin fought bravely at the terrible battle which began the Clone Wars. But tragically, he turned to the dark side and became Darth Vader. Vader hunted down and killed all the Jedi, except for Obi-Wan Kenobi, who stayed hidden in the desert wastes of Tatooine, where he could watch over Anakin's son, Luke. Ben? Princess Leia. She was Luke's twin sister, though neither of them knew it at the time. Yes, it was thanks to Han Solo and Chewbacca that we were able to rescue the princess. Obi-Wan had to face Vader one last time. Master Luke decided to join the rebellion against the Empire and became a hero when he destroyed the Death Star with a little help from Han Solo and, um, R2-D2. Like when you helped Master Luke find Yoda so he could be trained as a Jedi. Unfortunately, we were all lured into a trap set by Darth Vader. Poor Master Luke fought a terrifying lightsaber duel with Vader. Only to learn the awful truth. I am your father. But Vader couldn't bear to see his own son suffer. He rose up and destroyed the Emperor. And finally, Master Luke could gaze into the eyes of his father for the first, and indeed the last, time. So at what point, you're possibly wondering, was this piece of bonus material put on the VHS? Well, at the beginning. That's right, before you even get a chance to watch Star Wars Episode 2 Attack of the Clones on VHS, you're told not only how the movie you're about to watch ends, but how every single movie in the entire franchise ends. This means if this is the first time you're watching Star Wars, whether you're going Episode 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, or 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, and 3, or 4, 5, 6, 2, 3, or 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, and 3, regardless, this little featurette is about to spoil 2 to 6 movies in the franchise. 
There is of course nothing stopping you from stopping the movie and fast forwarding through it and hitting play, but then you might jump up halfway through the opening scene and you'll have to rewind it, which kind of ruins the impact of the opening scene. Or you can fast forward it while it's on the TV, but that means you're just going to see the spoilers in fast motion. But whatever your method of skipping the feature, the fact remains that it should not have been put there. It is not our duty as a consumer to avoid massive spoilers being chucked into the beginning of the films. And in any case, who the hell would be expecting major spoilers to be posted at the start of the film you're about to watch? You're not going to be searching for them, and you're not going to be on guard for them. And you're going to be halfway through them and go, holy hell, this is spoiling the entire franchise I just got psyched up to watch. Your ability to skip over the spoilers is completely irrelevant to the fact at hand, which is that it was utterly moronic to post spoilers at the start of the movie. It would be like putting in the first season of Game of Thrones and being greeted with a list of every single character that dies, how, and at what point in the series they do. And that is why the VHS release of Star Wars Episode 2 Attack of the Clones is a complete and utter piece of trash. Thank you for listening to my angry rant. <coughs> I mean, a physical media review. I'm Grim Grindel, have a lovely day.